Well, good evening, everybody. This is John Unell, a.k.a. John I Fly, from Schuylkill Haven, Pennsylvania. Uh, Happy New Year, by the way. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on, but uh, I want to wish everybody Happy New Year, and we're off to some start already, I'll tell you. But tonight I wanted to briefly talk about... Uh, January 6th of last year. Uh, about 12 days ago, we celebrated, well, I shouldn't say celebrate, we commemorated uh, January 6th of 2021. Certainly nothing to celebrate about. It's a sad day in our history, and it should never have happened. But I just basically want to talk about what happened that day. I'm not going to cover every single thing about it, but the main parts, and um, what happened, of course, is that uh, Joe Biden was elected our president, and so they had to uh, make it official. So there was a joint session of uh, Congress, and of course there were some of our Republican friends that had objections, and so what happens then each house had to go, the Senate had to go to the, their side, and the House went to their side to debate the issues. And while they were doing that, it uh, seems like uh, there was a crowd of Trump supporters outside the Capitol. Previously, before they arrived at the Capitol, Donald Trump had this big uh, rally, I guess you could say it was, and uh, it was basically a, a rally to incite the, his followers. And they had some well-known uh, uh, congressmen there. And I call them infamous. There's nothing good about them as far as I'm concerned. They fell hook, line, and sinker for Donald Trump. But anyway, Donald Trump basically encouraged them. He goes... If you don't take, you have to show strength. Uh, if you want to take back our country, in so many words, that's what he said. You have to be strong. You can't be weak. So his followers, his base, whatever, the crowd that was there, and there were thousands from what I heard, they decided to march to the Capitol. And of course, Donald Trump said, oh, I'll be there with you, which of course was a lie. He he made a beeline back to the White House, and of course he ended up, uh, we found out recently, which of course we suspected, he followed it on television. He was gloating over it. Oh, look how the people, that people are for me. Yeah, well, anyway. Um, and as a result, uh, the mob got bigger and bigger, and finally... They decided to rush the Capitol and they broke down the defenses. They were using bicycle racks as weapons and everything else. And the police, there wasn't enough there. The Capitol Police, they couldn't hold them. And long story short, they busted into the Capitol and unbelievable stuff that they were, they, they were fighting with the police. And I know at least one died. Uh, I don't have his name off the bat, but uh, a signal I think his name was, or something to that effect. And uh, there was also the low lives that defecated and urinated in the Capitol in different spots. You know, disgusting. One guy was in Nancy Pelosi's office with his feet up on the desk. He thought, you know, he left a note on her desk or whatever. I guess he felt he was in his glory. He was smiling and of course, uh, it doesn't feel too good to be in jail after what he did. They identified who he was, but anyway. Uh, they did invade the Capitol. And uh, at one point, this uh, one lady just tried to get into the Capitol and she was shot. Her name was Ashley Bob Babbitt. She was an Air Force veteran and a diehard Trump supporter. And look where it got her. It's a shame. 
she tried to, to break in and get into the speaker's lobby, and that uh, wasn't to be. But uh, it was some day, I remember I was sitting here on my computer, and I had the TV on, and you know, I knew there was going to be a big rally and stuff like that. But then after a while, you know, I I catch the action, what was going on, and next thing you know, I see they're inside the Capitol, and I remember seeing the, the I guess it was Secret Service people or whatever, had guns drawn. The police, I'm like wow, and and the Congress people in the in the House were told to get down, like up in the gallery, they were told to get down, lay down on the floor because they were invading the chambers. I know they got into the Senate and that one dope with the uh, horns on his head was sitting there and babbling on and carrying on and yelling and stuff like that. Of course, eventually he was caught too, identified, and he he's in custody now. So there was quite a few people that caused a lot of damage. They busted the glasses to get inside the Capitol, the doors, the windows, and stuff like that. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, they need to face justice. There's a lot of people they st they're still looking for yet. I was on the FBI website the other day, and there's quite a few people. That, that need to be brought to justice. They need to find out where they are and they need to be brought to justice. So I'm hoping the Attorney General speeds things up and, and gets things going here. Um, we're living in turbulent times, people. Turbulent times. I never dreamed in my life that I would see something like this happen when people barreled into the Capitol the way they did. And you know something? I believe that there's there's a lot of these Trump supporters. They really believe that they're true patriots. You know, support our president. He was nothing but an asshole. He still is. And as Liz Cheney said, he must never, ever get close to the Oval Office again. He was a disaster for our country. And now he's. I understand he's going to have a rally. Uh, today's the twelfth. He's going to have a rally on the 15th out in Arizona, so you can imagine what stuff's going to come out of his mouth. He'll still be pushing his lies that uh, the election was rigged. I, I don't think he really believes that. I think he's just doing it. Uh, I mean, if he does, he's really delusional. But I think it's his, his ticket to try to get back into power, and it's not going to happen. We need to get out and vote, people. We need to... to push that Voting Rights Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Bill. They're dealing with it now in the Congress and, of course, the Republicans and those two uh, senators, Manchin and Cinema, fighting against it. They don't want the filibuster changed. So, anyway, it's going to be an interesting... Uh, Next few weeks, let's put it that way. We're dealing with COVID. That's going wild. But uh, anyway, democracy won last year, and we must make sure it continues to win. Remember, we have to vote in 2022. Vote blue in 2022. Because the Republicans are doing everything they can to uh, gerrymander and, and make it as hard as possible for people to vote, particularly the blacks, Latin people. They're making it tough. But we've got to make it tougher. We've got to fight back people. Be informed. Watch the news. Uh, get involved if you can, you know. Support your local Democratic Party. Vote for those that... Uh, are for the American people, not for the filthy rich or the corporations. They've had enough. It's about time they pay their fair share of taxes. But uh, anyway, 
that's all about uh, all I have to say tonight. Um, remember, you can find me on YouTube as John I Fly, J O H N I F O Y. I'm also on Facebook as, with, under my real name, John R U N E L. That's how I have it listed. And uh, feel free to comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, hopefully I can do more now than the coming new year. I took a little time off. I needed it. Needed the rest. With the holidays and stuff like that, too. But anyway, okay. Uh, thanks a lot for listening in. And uh, I will hopefully talk to you people soon. Just remember, stay safe. Wear your mask. If you can get those good masks, the N95 or the K95, by all means, get them. They're supposed to be better. Uh, but, uh, this, this virus is not quitting yet. They're saying it's starting to peak in, in the New York City area, so let's hope so. Uh, it's because of the winter, you know, people are indoors more, but anyway. I'm running out of time here, so you take care, everybody, and I will talk to you soon. Stay safe, and, uh, we will make to, we'll make it through this crazy times that we're in right now. Okay, catch you soon. Bye-bye now.